Hello and welcome. My name is Carsten Lützen. I'm a Scrum Master and Agile Coach. Today I'll share some tips for drawing headlines and writing headlines on flip charts or also digitally. It also works there. Um, if you like these videos, please subscribe and share. Uh, this video will might maybe be a bit lengthy. Sorry, I will try to speed it up. But what you need is uh, at least uh, a thin marker and a bigger marker for the borders. And the rule is quite simple. It's always the same rule. Write the text first, then make the border. Okay? So if I want to do a headline, I write headline. Now, if I want to make it this classic banner, I create a square around it like this. And then I do this small one out. And then the small tip is now to make it a thinner line up here. And the same on the other side. So please note, I've not used the thick marker. It's still the same marker I'm using. And there we go. There we have the classic banner. And then I can use this big one to make a border around if I, if I want that. For extra, for extra details, I can really recommend you to have some kind of gray color that just gives it a bit more, um, yeah, a bit more finish to it. And then I always do it a small border down here to say that that's so to say closer to the background and then a bigger border up here and then smaller border here smaller here and if you want to take it completely to a completely new uh, level then have some kind of colors crayons or the likes pick a color that you like uh, i'll go with green for this one and then we simply put some color on this i tend to go with the lighter tones here and also on this part and then to mimic the shadow i make this triangle darker and then I do like this and then making that darker. There we have it and actually uh, easy to uh, make a uh, border. Uh, another way is also to do like this again text first, write it and then we can make like small pieces of tape in the corners. It doesn't need to be precise. It doesn't need to be accurate or anything like that. This is fine. And then I just connect it. Then I might take the this one to just create a simple shadow. Then I can give it some colors. I might go for another color for the tape that can be gray or green or whatever, but just an, a different color compared to, uh, to this text border. And there we have it. That is another way. We've also previously seen this uh, wish list. There is another video on making a big wish list, but if we have uh, some, uh, some text, Then we do like this uh, spiral thing up here, all the way down to here, and then spiral like this. Then to finish the paper, so to say, I put down some stripes there. Then in one stroke to this point, and then down here, and round, and up again. And then we have this uh, curly piece of paper. Then we can add shadows and this has a lot of room for interpretation. It can, for instance, be like this, this, this. And it doesn't need to be super precise because people are is going to see it from afar. And then again, just some quick colors, just uh, gives it a completely different uh, look. And then you can also play a bit around with making some of it more solid. 
and there you have it. It doesn't take longer than that. What I usually do, and what you might have noticed, I always write my initials down in the corner to make it possible to, for people to figure out who to ask if, um, if they have questions. And then I simply, in many cases, just create a border around like this. Oh, this marker needs to be refilled. And that's it. There we have three easy to do, easy to learn uh, type of headlines for flip charts. And you can be as creative as you want. You can make curly corners or whatever. You can make this more banner like that and just uh, be creative, play around with it. It's really, really fun to experiment with. And I'm hoping some of you will also share how you are making headlines on, uh, on flip charts. And uh, as always, comments, questions, ideas and feedback is more than welcome. Have a nice day.